Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. If you've got questions about the forecast for the Mid-South area, that's West Tennessee, Eastern Arkansas, and Northern Mississippi, please drop them into the comments section. We would love to know more about what you are seeing in your area this morning, so please keep an eye on what's going on with the forecast there, and we'll also update you on what's happening on all these social media networks, including our website, W. WREG.com slash weather. Hope you've had a great weekend so far. Fairly quiet start to the day. Again, temperatures right now back in the mid-70s. Not seeing a lot of cool air out there and a few stray showers and a few thunderstorms out across the mid-south. High temperatures today with partly to mostly cloudy skies at times back in the lower 90s and low temperatures tonight going back into around the lower 70s and that's about as cool as it gets for much of the mid-south area for the rest of the day. Isolated showers and thunderstorms possible early today. Not expecting a lot in to the rest of the forecast. Earthquakes, nothing to report in the Mid-South according to the United States Geological Survey or the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis. So very quiet there and thankfully, hopefully it'll be staying that way as well. Rhodes College in Memphis, a lot of cloudy skies, a few areas of sunshine making their way into and around the air Rhodes College. So we did manage to get again in there this morning, but that's about all that we're seeing right now is mainly just cloud cover out across the Mid-South. Areas of showers back into eastern Arkansas with a little thunder, but that's about it. Road to College from the University of Mississippi in Oxford, the Crosby Hall construction camp is out there rather on the sunny, but again, a little bit cloudy side mixed in with that. The Student Union, the construction going on quite nicely there on the Ole Miss campus and fairly quiet on an early Saturday morning with not too much out from what it looks like. Currents in Germantown, a little bit more closer to the mid-70s with plenty of humidity out across the area and seeing again winds out of the northwest at 7. Now you would think that winds out of the northwest would be bringing us some cooler air and in fact they're kind of tempering the temperatures by just a little bit but it's not really doing a lot to actually cool things off. It's not an arctic blast and that's kind of sad but we could use a little bit more with that as we go into the next couple of days because we're going to be seeing some very hot conditions out there. Pretty typical for this time of the year. Not record breaking, not a heat wave, but it is going to be typical for the Mid-South for this time of the year, which means that if you have any plans for outdoors, get set to get hot and make sure that you again have everything ready to go for hot for the uh, hot conditions out there. Sunshade if at all possible, something for your head. A lot of sunblock out there. Looks like we're having some loss of data this morning where it comes to our forecast Hopefully that's not uh, too bad out there. Well, okay, there should be some numbers out there. As we go into, I'll just describe them for you, shall I? This is what we're going to be looking for. Again, mostly cloudy skies, a chance of a shower or thunderstorm possible into the rest of the forecast. Should be, again, 10 to 20% chances of showers and thunderstorms here, and winds, again, mainly out of the northwest for later on today. Trust me, there is weather out there. It's just not showing up for some reason here this morning. Apologies on that. Here's some numbers for you. Let's go ahead and run these numbers by you and see what's going on throughout the rest of the morning. Again, temperatures will be back into around the mid to upper 70s to the lower 80s for the most part across much of the Mid-South. We don't have, again, a lot of cool air anytime soon. We do have those dwindling showers out there. The area is in green through about mid to late morning and into this afternoon. South of I-40, that's going to be the best bet of seeing anything in the way of major amounts of showers and thunderstorms. And when we say major, when I say that, it's going to be, again, the major chance of anything involving showers and thunderstorms down this direction direction and that's going to be about all that we wind up seeing at this time. Could be some lingering showers into around say dinner time tonight around News Channel 3 at 5 but we're just not seeing again a lot of anything huge taking place where it comes to anything involving uh, showers and thunderstorms wiping out weekend plans or anything like that. So good news on that if you are going to be doing anything outdoors for the rest of the day today and into the rest of the forecast. This is again where we see again the possibility of just a few light scattered showers out there and that's going to be about all that we wind up with throughout the rest of the afternoon and into this evening. Throughout the rest of the evening very much on the warm and muggy side. Temperatures remain close to 90 even around sunset time for the metro area for around the Memphis Shelby County area for later on. And then by new 
News Channel 3 daybreak tomorrow morning. Lower 60s in parts of the Mid-South. Those are going to go away very quickly as we get into very early tomorrow afternoon as temperatures rise very rapidly into the upper 80s to lower 90s. Not seeing much of anything in the Mid-South in the way of showers or thunderstorms throughout the area tomorrow. Things are pretty quiet and remaining very much on the warm side right on into News Channel 3 at 10 on Sunday. So if running the numbers into the 7 to 10 day forecast, we'll do the 7 day forecast here. You can catch the 10 day forecast coming up in just a few minutes on News Channel 3 Daybreak. It's about 20 minutes until 8 o'clock when we record this on Saturday morning. Isolated chance of a shower or thunderstorm storm off and on into portions of the area. We're just not seeing a lot out there until we get into around Wednesday or so. That's where we see the next chance of showers and thunderstorms. Mainly sunny skies and plenty of that into the next several days. So the sunblock will be very important. A nice hat, a nice shady spot, air conditioning if you're going to be working or exercising outdoors. Take breaks because this is the type of weather that can really sap your strength very quickly. You need to drink back the water, your body sweats away. You need to keep very close eye on anybody working or exercising around you for signs of heat injuries and most importantly as we get toward Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we see that potential of showers and thunderstorms coming back into the forecast. It doesn't look like much right now. In fact, it looks to be fairly quiet at this time, but we do see again uh, the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms out there again toward about mid to late week and onwards, and that's going to be the best possibility of anything involving thunderstorms throughout the rest of the forecast period. That'll go right on into next weekend. We'll talk more about the 10-day forecast coming up here in just a minute on News Channel 3 on our uh, main daybreak forecast page. Taking a look at the tropics, the good news at this time, things are decently quiet for right now, but we do have one storm system, uh, Eugene, now possibly becoming a hurricane in the next couple of days off the Baja Peninsula. What's left of tropical depression number four is a wave of disorganized showers and thunderstorms over the Atlantic. Otherwise, no development is expected for the next two to five days thanks to dry, dusty air moving its way off of Africa. So looking at little of anything showing up in the way of showers or thunderstorms there. Looks like we've lost our international data as well. That's not the case from earlier. It's going to be very hot into around Iraq. Temperatures in the triple digits heading into quite apology. Uh, again, days here. At least we're not getting anything in the way of major amounts of dust storms. If you'd like to see more about weather worldwide, if you have friendly members serving in the United States military, the World Meteorological Organization has plenty of websites that will give you more details as to what's going on in and around the world. Even if ours aren't working, you can get more information about what's going on throughout the world on many different websites. Links from that to the Nas from the National Weather Service to the WMO, World Meteorological Organization. At least Guantanamo Bay is coming through for just a little bit. Currently, uh, currently temperature of 81 degrees, no rainfall, and it looks like mostly cloudy skies. Don't forget about our weather app. It's available at our whatever app store you have, whatever platform you've got. Search WREG Weather and find out more about what the weather's doing in the Mid-South, and you can find out more details about all the forecast data coming on through the area. Also, tune in for my complete forecast. It's available on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. If you can't watch on TV, if you can't surf the web to get the forecast, listen on the radio. We'll have more details on that again throughout the rest of the weekend as well. And of course, I'll be back on with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live. That'll be Monday through Friday morning starting at 7 a.m. on Yahoo Sports Radio. Sports chat, a lot of great guests, good opportunity to learn more about what's going on in the Mid-South area and beyond. And also don't forget about all my social media networks. If you've got weather pictures, please tweet them to us. We'd love to be able to see what's going on in the Mid-South and beyond, but we can't show them if you don't send them. So please send them our direction and we would love to know more about what you see through your camera lens out there so we can show everybody else. i got to get back out on set to tell people what's going on with the daybreak forecast coming up on air. And you can also tune in online if you can't get us on air wherever you are in the world. Go to WREG.com and click on the live streaming icon. Should be an email address down here austin.onic at WREG.com. If you'd like to email me let us know what you would like to see on here. We'd love to have you keep coming back but again we can't show you if you don't tell us what you would like to see. So please let us know more about what you would like to see on our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. i got to get back out on set. Thanks for joining us. More coming up throughout the course of the rest of the weekend, live and direct from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your complete forecast on our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, for Saturday morning.